Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Made with Love. My name is Heather and today I'm in my craft room. I'm going to do something I haven't done for quite a while and that is I'm going to be sewing. So I've got these little um, kitchen towels. I thought these ones were so cute. I'm just trying to it's got the, see, you can't really see, but it's got the plate here and it's got the tea kettle. So I just thought it was like a cute little one for the kitchen. And so the plate is in red, uh, it's in the beige, and it's got like little red and blue hearts and little, I don't know, circles and little flowers or stuff all over. And the other pack, there was a two pack for $1.50, so I got these two towel, tea towel set, and I got this one here, it's just the waffle pattern. Um, I'm not going to use the waffle one for right now, I'm going to put the waffle one actually in my kitchen. I love this textured for drying dishes, it's actually what my husband prefers to use. But it was this one, and I buy my, um, these are the pot holders, I buy these at Dollar Tree for two for $1.25. I've got one red one left and I thought it was just a perfect, well at first I was actually going to do the red with red because it's almost Valentine's Day, but when I saw this plate on here, which is actually the reason I bought it, I'm like, no, I'm going to do the plate one tonight. And then I was looking for buttons and I have buttons, but I don't have the right size or right color of red. And so I was at Walmart, my camera is just going to tip over. And I found this little wooden button that was uh, $2, and I thought that was just perfect. It's the same, you know, pretty close to the same shade as the little dishes and stuff. So I'm just going to, <laughs> excuse me, sorry about that. No, I've been just doing lots of extra cleaning around my house, and there's just lots of dust flying everywhere in my house right now. I was also just hooked up my sewing machine too. So I just, you know, there's just lots of pet hair under the tables and stuff. So it's to be expected when you've got pets and my animals love to lay under my feet when I'm crafting. Now I'm going to remove this tag here. I don't always remove, remove the tags, but on this one I'm going to. Like if I was gonna give this as a gift, I try to I always keep the tags on and let the people who receive it remove the tags. But because it's gonna be just going straight into my kitchen, I'm gonna remove the tag. And I always want to make sure that the button is gonna fit through this hole, which I forgot to do, but it does work. But uh, I've done that once before. I actually still have the button on, and the button was too big, so I had to undo it and stitch another button on but I like to just fold this in half and then the button there and it makes it such an easy way to hang on the stove. Just some little sticky things stuck. I don't know. Okay. Just gotta figure out so this will be the front of it because this has got the back here so this would be the underside so I want to make sure I got this right. Now I'm just going to flip my camera around because I've already got my um, sewing machine hooked up and I also have my iron already because I got to iron this out. This is going to bug me this little just there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up dropping this little metal thing on the floor. I'm going to step on it. It's like a staple. So I just want to grab that now before it falls on the floor. I'm just going to pick up this garbage. I'm just going to swing my camera around and you can watch me iron and sew. Okay, so now I'm just going to iron this uh, flat. Um, it has the marking or the the creases from the way it was folded from the store. So I'm just trying to get these to iron out. And I am out of water. I'm just going to try to steam these out. I guess I'm out of water. So I think I must have dripped all the water somewhere, but I think it's going to, I think I'm going to have to get water in here because these are not coming out. I 
pieces in here are just been here for so long they're just not ironing out with just a dry iron make it roll starting to so I'm just gonna press this flat I'm just gonna go fill up my iron with some water because that will really help and then I will be back and I will say I did actually get some dressmaker uh, pencils um, I did this before and people are saying we should draw a line and I was using chalk like just the standard chalk for my kids chalkboards and stuff but I actually found a pack of these dressmaker pencils. I think I've used one one time, but I, it didn't really show up. So I will see if it will show up better on uh, this pot holder here than it did on whatever I was using it the last time I had used it. So I'll be back when I've got this iron and all the little creases and wrinkles out and I'm ready to pin and then sew. Okay, I think I've got these all ironed up. I'm just doing one more press because I just I just saw a line that I caused when I was ironing kind of funny. So now I've got this, but I want to attach the pop holder and of course, I'm going to move my camera a little closer. I don't know if I can. Oops, maybe not. Here, i got to move this a little closer. That's about as close as I can get to the camera the way it's sitting. But um, the tea towel, so I'm just going to grab my tape measure here. It's handy when you got everything clean and you can kind of everything's within my reach again. Uh, let's see, so my tea towel measures uh, 16 inches wide and my pot holder measures just under seven, so I'd say a good seven inches. You know, from the dollar store, or even at that, I find they're always off a little bit. So I'm just gonna set this here. So I need to fold this side up to come to, so it'll meet you know, right here so I know that it will cover. I know I've got this sitting here just so I can figure out kind of where I need it to sit, right there. I'm just gonna A little ironing just so I get some creases here, some new creases, so I know where I have to be. Just find something just easier for me to do this. I've got those new creases, and I'm just going to fold this along those creases and just make sure that that will work. That now across here, this should be about seven inches. It's about seven inches across here now. So I'm just going to press this back into place so I keep those nice creases. And it's just too bad that this just wasn't quite, um, oops, let me just do. So just too bad. Sometimes these are folded in a good, a good way that I don't have to do oh, too much work. This one was just kind of folded a little bit different. So just have to remake these creases. And that one just looks nice if you get some nice creases going in the um, tea towel. I was about to say pot holder, but no. In the tea towel. You get these nice creases and it really helps to be able to keep everything more even. I'm just going to lay this across and something happened. This one went crooked. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm just going to just line this up before I do that. I just got to make sure that there, that's a bit better. I just got to re-iron this new crease because it did. I ironed crooked. Iron the new crease in. And after a while, it's not even going to be you know, noticeable. It's just going to be hanging up in my kitchen. But there we go. So now it should it should cover completely. I just got to make sure this is the top. I 
got to put my tea towel around. I'm just trying to get this measured so I get make sure I get this right. This has to be here. I'm just going to fold this in half. Just going to get a nice crease here too. So I'm going to fold it this way. I did find that this actually did help keep my stitching a little straighter too. And then I gotta take this out because I've gotta do it this way. So this will be sewn up on top. So when it hangs, I'm just gonna go grab the one I've made. It's easier to explain. Okay, just excuse the fact that it's dirty, but this actually hangs in my kitchen. It's been hanging up there. Um, since I made it last fall with the little gnomes, uh, but yeah, it needs to get washed. But you know, like I said, I've got you see how I didn't quite get it perfectly lined up, which I said I'm trying to get work on that, trying to keep things a little bit straighter this year uh, with my sewing. I just made these fast one year, just figured out how to do it, and I've been making them for lots of family and friends, and so I do know there's a few of them that are a little crooked. I didn't, and I said I didn't have any marks on here to keep myself straight. I didn't quite pin it evenly, so that is one thing I'm going to work on is trying to get these more straight. But you can see, so the tea towel part, the tea towel hangs down, and the little pot holder becomes the hanger to hang on the oven door. So I'm just going to put this here. This is where <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now I've got this right where I want it to go. I'm just going to grab my little. Like I said, I can't. I can't hardly see this on here. I don't know. It's not, maybe it's just the blue, just with my lighting. So I'm going to try the white one and see. Oh, I can see the white there. That's better. I've got a good white line of where I'm going to stitch. And I will wash that off. But then I'm just going to grab my pins. I'd like to get some of those clips. They might actually help me so a little straighter too, but just going to use my pins and I'm just going to pin in each one of these four corners. It just kind of keeps, it, keeps everything a little straighter for me. I'd like to buy those little those clips I've seen people use. And I did see them at Walmart. They're just, it was not a priority to buy those at the moment, but I did find them at Walmart. And I do have to say, where I live, we have two Walmarts. And for some reason, both Walmarts have different prices for the exact same item. So I know one, one Walmart is cheaper than the other Walmart for the sewing supplies. And I don't know why. Unless the, just, oh, I just bent that pin in half. So I don't know why. If I found that quite a few years ago with the Walmart. The newer one costs a little bit more for some items. There, they're all lined up. So now I'm just going to turn my iron off and unplug it before I know I'm going to bump it. I'm going to burn myself. I'm just going to turn my camera around so you can see me uh, stitching this up, and then we're almost done. Okay, I don't know how easy it will be for you to see my sewing machine. I'm going to turn it here. Okay, it's going to be backwards in my camera, I know, but mine's a brother. Um, I'm using number two, which gives me this um, little bit um, thicker stitch. It's not like a single stitch, it's a little bit, it's like a double stitch side by side, I'm not sure. I'm using 
2.5 position and my tension is up here on the three. I never touch my tension. I always keep it at about three. I just, I find it easier. I don't need to do anything. I just do basic sewing. So, you know, my sewing machine does so much stuff and I hardly, I hardly do any sewing, but I wanted a better machine. So I'm just trying to get my camera angle back down here. I've already got my thread and bobbin are already in place. I already tested it before I did this to make sure. I'm just going to fold this up so I can reach it under here. I'm going to line this up where the, I got my line. did something. What did I, do? I don't know what I did. I pressed something. Okay, I'll just snip those or those threads in a minute. I just, what did I press? I don't know. I just stopped moving. Try this again. Oops, it's not quite lined up. There. Now it's lined up. Okay, now I've got it lined up. It doesn't want to go. It's not moving. Okay, uh, be right back. I just gotta figure out why the she's uh, not pulling it down. Did the needle break? I'm not sure. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm still not sure why it wasn't going, but I got it working now. Oops, I got some loose thread here. I gotta snip off. I just rotated and decided okay, I'm just gonna start from the other side, and it seems to be uh, sewing now. Oh. 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 My thread just snapped. <laughs> okay, so something is wrong because I haven't done my sewing machine for a while. Um, so I'm just going to have to re-thread. And I just, let's see why it's not... It's not even stitching. Okay. I'm just got to re-thread. Let's figure out where my thread kind of came off. Tangled up in here. Okay, let's retry threading this again. Why oh, does this not want to thread for me? It doesn't want to catch on there. Now it's calling that. And down here.
didn't thread it. I thought it threaded, but it didn't thread. Hmm. my iron all the water on my iron just leaked all over my floor behind me okay I'm just not having a good <laughs> good night right this minute okay my sewing machine and my iron are both gonna say yeah they're just I don't know I'm just gonna do whatever they want to do okay I'm gonna retry this again Real slower this time. Oops, it's just getting caught right there. Underneath somehow. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this forward just a little bit. And just retry this. Got it stitched. All this loose thread that was all tangled and in my way. I'm going to clip off this loose thread. Take out the pins. And now I just have to stitch on the button. So I'll be back in just a moment when I got um, the button and the thread. Okay, I've got this already. It took me a few minutes. I had to go find the button. I kind of misplaced it. So I just gotta line this up. And I'm just gonna take my little thing here. I'm just gonna see if I can just draw a couple little dots. I don't know if that's going to show up. Not really. But it kind of like, I can kind of see my, where I kind of need to make my little starting holes. And I've got my needle here and I'm using, to sew my buttons on, I use my um, emery floss. So I found this one here and it's really close to the same color as the button. So I'm going to use I'm never good at starting these. I always do it wrong. I've got this one. Oh, here, this one is easy to start. Like I said, I know I always start my floss, my emery floss wrong. I have those little um, things. Where are they? I have a bunch of these little stick things. I don't know what they're called. A stitch bow floss holder. I've got a bunch of these, and I've never actually used any of them because I'm not entirely sure how to use them. I think this is about how much I will need. And I'm using oh, I'm using a really wider um, needle than I would probably need to use. 
But I just find sometimes with the, trying to get the emery floss through this many layers of fabric, it's just easier to use a fatter needle. And I know there's people who can tie knots really fast. I have to do it slowly, one little knot at a time. And I don't trust my knot making skills, so I will do about three knots. And I'm leaving myself quite a long tail to start with. And then I'm just going to poke down, just have the initial, this is, I always have trouble doing this too. Just trying to get my initial holes created. I'm just poking the needle most of the way through. And then where the second one will be that way, I've got my holes already kind of lined up and I can find them easier and faster if I do it that way. Usually, of course, like I said, I usually makes it faster at first, but you know, I just did something funny. There, there is the. Now I can't get this to come back through. Okay. And this button is just a two hole button, so it's pretty easy to stitch on. And I just want to make sure my button is straight. Just trying my best to keep my holes straight. Or keep my keeping my stitches straight by trying to use the same spot on the holes. And then I'll do it once more. My knot here, the back. Oops, let me just get. couple knots like that at the back and then I'm just going to tie it off as well because like I'm not very good at you know, sewing I'm not I'm not somebody who sews I can do some basic things I can repair some basic things but I'm not somebody who does a lot of sewing so I'm just gonna put this button through here to make sure it will work there we go it's all looking pretty nice and neat so now I'm just going to go hang this on my, um, my oven door and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, I've now got it hanging on my uh, oven door. You can see how it looks, how it works. Just the simple little button holds it on the handle and the tea towel just hangs down. Like I said, I really like this little kitchen one, you know, little plate and fork, knife, and the teapot. And I like the color, so it's gonna work perfect in my kitchen. Just trying to straighten this. So there's what it looks like hanging up. And yes, I did, even though I had everything was perfectly straight, I still somehow managed to the back side is just a little bit longer than the front and up here again it's quite better than some of my other ones I've made but the tea towel actually comes a little bit over the edge of the 
pot holder just a little bit on that side. It's perfectly lined up on this side. So again, it's just, I haven't made these in a couple of years. I was really good at making these and then don't make them for a while. And then you have to re, you know, relearn how to do stuff when you haven't done it for a while. There's my kitty. Okay. He's stacking me because I'm sitting in front of where his food is. Okay, again, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing to my channels and watching my videos, and I will see you all in my next ones. Bye.